Hi, I'm Kate Crouch and welcome back to Embodied Engagement. We are revisiting an Applebee's A Hymn for the Mother. And this time we're going to change what we're focusing on. And we're going to focus on the idea of reverence, reverence for nature, and how reverence can come up in your body and emotions. I really appreciated the quote from John O'Donohue that Ann Appleby associates with this particular collection of work, and so I'm going to read it right now. And it's from Bless the Space Between Us, which when I think about that is the relationship between ourselves and nature. Somewhere out on the edges, the night is turning and the waves of darkness begin to brighten the shore of dawn. The heavy dark falls back to earth, and the freed air goes wild with light. The heart fills with fresh, bright breath, and thoughts stir to give birth to color. That last line of thought stirring to give birth to color is really interesting for me as I think about memories of walking through the woods or swimming or any other time that I've been within nature. I also find it pretty interesting that for some of her, her two larger pieces, um, that they're actually in black and white. And that just invites me personally to dream up what this landscape would look like if I were really walking through it. So just take a moment as we move into our embodied section to roll through the shoulders and get nice and loose in your body. If you prefer to sit or be on the ground, that's perfectly fine. So after we look at Anne Appleby's small portrait of perhaps it's herself in reverence to nature, you can see how the body folds and is coming forward. So we're just going to take a moment to recreate that. If you're on the ground, great. If you're not, just kind of let your body come forward. Maybe close the eyes and bow the head. If it feels good to you, you could give yourself a hug or bring the hands to the chest. I always like that. And just take a couple of breaths in this folding in. And notice how your body can soften into this shape. Then notice if you can soften through the tailbone and anything that's touching the floor, whether it's the feet, if you're seated on the ground, just let that soften. Start to think about the ground coming up to meet your body. So we have this play of heaviness of the body and the ground coming up to meet you. Feel free to blink the eyes open if it feels nice to continue to look at the artwork. And just let your imagination kind of flow in and out. Maybe the last time that you took a walk in nature or outside, even if it was in your own garden. And just see if you can let your imagination of bright colors start to fill in. And then we're going to go from this folding in to really opening up. If you're standing, why don't you take the feet a little bit wider and then we'll create that same sense of balance and heaviness, letting the ground come up to meet you as much as you're letting your feet drop down to the ground. And close the eyes. See if you can roll the shoulders back and maybe even then lift. And just notice how this shifts your experience in your own body and then your experience of maybe looking up into the trees or into the sky. So one thing that I, one uh, idea or concept that I come back to over and over again, especially when I'm walking around with trees around, is um, Thich Nhat Hanh who does walking meditations. And so he will physically think about the body transferring from the ground to the earth and back down and how your body can get in contact to the ground, but then opening up and thinking about the trees and the life of the trees. 
So maybe you have a tree in mind or you can just imagine a tree and think about all of the water, all of the snow and rain and everything that it's taken for that tree to grow and maybe open yourself up a little bit more. So this reverence doesn't have to be curled in, but a reverence of opening and feeling the water go through your own body, all of the light and dark, maybe that one tree or group of trees, all of the soil and everything underneath and how long that tree has been there and that maybe that tree will be there after you're gone. They're opening and now the sun feeling or a, a sensation of the sun on your body as you open maybe a little bit of warmth. Let your arms just drop down, just get a little bit wiggly and see if you can create another shape with your body, whether it's twisted and reaching. Maybe an idea of hugging that tree or moving through water and then just naturally let your body shift as you open and curl in. Just naturally with breath opening, curling, thinking about your feet on the ground. You could even maybe bring in that idea of hugging a tree and then opening up. And see if you can change every motion as you move. So this is just a little bit different. And now swimming feeling water rush over the body, your last time maybe in the ocean or in a lake. It should be enjoyable. And Appleby has this beautiful film that you're going to have access to that you can watch and just listen to the children playing in the water. We are intended, I believe, to enjoy this world that we live in and you can see it in this film. So just let yourself watch and maybe move with the, the kids, maybe even with that water sound. Feeling the laughter and then how does it feel to have that laughter flow through your body? Especially kids just like having fun, being delightful, playing with their dog. And after you've moved around and listened, we're going to come back into that first shape, that curling in and starting to get heavy and soft. Start to create a stillness as you feel the energy of the ground coming up to meet you as you inhale and knowing that you can just relax and give all of your worries back into the earth. Take three more breaths sort of curled in or mindfully breathing heavy and light. Slowly, you can blink yourself back open. As we had another wonderful chance to look at Ann Appleby's work, thank you for joining me for this embodied engagement.